Last Christmas day, I took some food away. I woke up with a selection box, so I had a Milky Way. And then I had me breakfast, scrambled eggs on toast, and I opened all me presents up. And what I fancied most was a box of lint chocolates made by master chocolatiers. By then it was nearly lunchtime and time for a few beers. So I sunk a couple up the pub and the odd dry roasted nut and staggered home for me dinner when the pub was shut. I had turkey and all the trimmings, roast spuds and peas, Yorkshire pud, sweet and carrot mash and broccoli, sausage stuffing, cauliflower and Brussels sprouts of course. All topped off with gravy and a blob of cranberry sauce Then I had me Christmas pudding, a couple of mince pies And when me dinner had gone down, a bag of scampi fries I went back some celebrations as I sat there in my seat And by then it was time for tea, mashed pickle and cold meat But I didn't feel complete, I fancied something sweet And so I ate some quality street, until I was quite replete Followed by a cheese board and some crackers on a plate I couldn't eat another thing, my guts were in a state I need a Christmas clear out, a yuletide log I just can't wait till I'm sitting on the bog I've got a turb right on the edge that I need to emit Because my belly is distended and my farts will smell of shit So I dashed to the toilet, cause I couldn't help the urge I squeezed and squeezed and squeezed and squeezed but nothing would emerge it seemed I had a blockage in my anal pipe So I left the toilet after giving a cautionary wipe By Boxing Day my stomach was embarrassingly swollen From all the Christmas food and turds wedged up my colon I wanted to spend the day just sitting on the pan But I had to attend a family dinner at me girlfriend's nans When I got there the whole family was sat in the conservatory My arse was foremost in my mind I was in faecal purgatory I tried to do polite hellos while sweating with a frown My turb was like the Duke of York It was neither up nor down I sat between her mum and aunt And tried to clench my cheeks While her nan served up the soup Made of spuds and leeks As soon as I had a mouthful though I was in no doubt I was like a nightclub filled to capacity one in, one out. I quickly excused myself from the dinner table. I got up and lurched out the room, feeling quite unstable. So I legged it up to the bog as fast as I was able. Dilated to ten centimetres, I laid a massive cable. It was a Christmas clear out, a yuletide log. If it had legs and a tail, it could be a sausage dog. I smacked it and stabbed at it with the toilet brush. It's like it was made of concrete, though it just wouldn't turn to mush. It was a Christmas clear out, a yuletide log. I flushed and flushed and flushed, but it wouldn't go down the bog. It just kept staring up at me like a big brown trout. So I got some bog roll on my hand and fished the fucker out. I thought, what am I gonna do with this massive poo? So I opened up the window and threw the cursed number two. It was a Christmas clear out, a yuletide log I lobbed it in the garden cause it wouldn't go down the bog When I checked to see where it landed, I swear this is the truth The whole family were looking up gagging at my turd on the conservatory roof